This monitor is showing us the earthquakes of the past month. It's called the Pacific Ring of Fire, home to 90% of the world's earthquakes, and BC is right in its path. There's about a 30% chance um, for Victoria that there will be a large earthquake sometime within the next 50 years. So that's a pretty good chance. And because the possibility of a large earthquake is so real, and because so few of us are prepared for one, more than half a million people in BC are expected to take part in the Great BC Shakeout Earthquake Drill for the second time this year. Pretend that there's an earthquake. Get underneath something, uh, whatever room you're in. Don't move to a different room to do it. Just duck cover and hold on for a minute. This time around, BC will join shakeout drills in the Yukon, California, Nevada and Idaho as we drop, cover and hold on. Three simple steps experts say will save lives when the shaking begins. You don't just wait out the shaking, you wait for another minute after the shaking stops because some, things still might be toppling and still might be you know, on the edge of falling. So you want all those things to fall before you start to evacuate a building. But what if we had some kind of warning that a quake was coming? Not hours or days, but seconds. Just enough time to get to a safe place. It can push out information automatically. This is a strong motion instrument. It's built with an onboard computer and can be programmed to detect early shaking from strong earthquakes. This one is locked away in a vault at the Pacific Geoscience Centre in North Saanich, but there are about 100 others just like it around Vancouver Island and the south coast. When an earthquake occurs, the, the waves that actually cause damage take some time to travel from point A to point B. And those waves travel at about three kilometres every second. So the farther away an earthquake is, the longer it takes the waves to travel. It's kind of like a race. Technology like this is capable of sensing strong shaking right away and sending out that information immediately to TV and radio stations, emergency services and even Blackberries and smartphones. And it can all happen before strong, destructive waves travel from where an earthquake occurs to towns and cities. The farther away the earthquake, the more warning there could be. So if an earthquake is offshore, you might have, you might have 30 or 40 or 50 seconds of warning. In the event of a big Japan-type earthquake, a magnitude 9, it might actually start a thousand kilometers away. And so you have perhaps four minutes of warning. Moderate shaking. This is an example of an alert being tested in the U.S. It's from the University of California and could be in B.C. as soon as a few years from now. But we would need hundreds more strong motion instruments like this one to make an early warning system work. So this is, is all relatively new and is really still at the testing stage. But in Japan, the experience in Japan was that it worked, it worked very well. And with seconds or even minutes of warning, traffic could be blocked from entering bridges and tunnels, doctors could pause during surgeries, and fire hall doors could be opened to prevent them from being jammed shut every site where these instruments are you can bring. A first alert system is being tested in Japan, Mexico and soon California, but the possibility of an early warning system here is exciting. It's, it's being developed and tested and, and really great potential. The Great BC Shakeout will now happen once a year and in the coming years more provinces, states and countries are expected to join in. The first Japanese Shakeout will happen in March and soon Ontario, Quebec, Hawaii and Alaska will all join in. In North Saanich, I'm Nikki Iwanishan for The Daily.